It has been more than a month now since the Las Vegas Strip shut down. And while the effort to slow the spread of the coronavirus remains here in Nevada, many properties are looking at how they're going to actually reopen. Hector Mejia live this morning with some of the changes one resort is considering. Hector. Well, the wind lays out their plan in this lengthy 23 page report released online just yesterday. And although the wind doesn't give an exact reopening date, it seems to target mid to late May. Among the changes you'll notice immediately, well, they include thermal cameras at points of entry to check for anyone who is running a fever, strict physical distancing throughout the casino floor, at the check in counter, and around the pool areas, hand sanitizing stations placed throughout the resort. Guests will be asked to clean their hands and wear a mask, which will be provided by the resort. Table games will be reduced and regularly cleaned, and each table will be limited down to only three people. The guidelines lay out literally hundreds more changes, many of which are expected to be the new normal, at least temporarily, for Vegas resorts. I think it's going to come down to how do you design hospitality facilities in a way that puts the safety and health of the employees and customers first, you know, instead of maybe luxury being the priority, health is a priority now. And I think that's going to be a totally new model for how we do things. And I think they're still looking for the answers. When Resorts has gone through this with properties in Macau, China, which closed for two weeks back in February to combat the spread of coronavirus there, and Governor Steve Sisolak's directive closing all casinos is expected to last through May 1st, but that could change as things develop. Still ahead in the next half hour, we'll talk a little bit more about the changes we could see not just here at the Wynn and Encore, but also along the Strip. Reporting live this morning, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.